Hey everyone, my name is Chris from Create Daily, and today I'm going to show you how to properly do a magnifying glass effect using Adobe After Effects. Let me know in the comments how you plan on using this effect because I would love to know. Now let's get started with designing our articles. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is design our paper articles. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to Composition, New, and I'm going to type in Faux Article, which is the first one we're going to make. And we're going to make this a 1080 by 1350. So within here, what I'm gonna do is bring in some assets. So we have a paper texture. And because our actual article is a little bit of like that older look, that's why we're using this color texture here. Now I'm gonna bring in our logo. I've pulled a few different ones from online. I'm just gonna use this one. We're gonna put this towards the top. It doesn't have to be completely at the top. So now what I'm gonna do is create some simple little lines and we're gonna animate those. So I'm gonna pull up my pen tool here and I'm going to get rid of my fill. And then I'm gonna pull up my stroke. And we're going to change the color of this, maybe this first one to red. And we're going to draw a big line there. We'll center this up. And then what I'm going to do is duplicate that line, bring it down, bring it in, change this color to black. I'm going to align this with our red line, shrink it up. We'll call this red line. We'll call these black lines. I'm going to go down to our black lines here. I'm going to go to add repeater. And right away, by default, the repeater adds things to the right. So I'm going to change our repeater just by moving around our position. So I'm going to change that position to zero. And then I'm going to bring this position down just like that. And if I want to add more lines, it's really easy. I By default, I have three copies. I'm going to add Seven. This is what we have so far. If we want, we could better blend our lines into the background. We could go to our red line here. We could change the blend mode to multiply. It's really subtle, but that's something else we can do here with these lines. So it's really up to you. Now what I'm going to do is go down to our red line, add trim paths, and I'm going to set a keyframe for our endpoint and go up one second and set another keyframe. And then I'm going to go back to zero. So now here's what we have and it animates in. I'm gonna click F9 for easy ease. See how this looks. And what we're gonna do is drag this handle in as well so the speed starts off really fast and then ramps off and eases into the final point just like that. Now we'll bring it out. All right, I like the way this is looking so far. Now we are gonna do a little bit of animation from the start. And knowing that ahead of time, I'm actually gonna be moving these keyframes in, let's say starting at one second. That way I have at least a second to animate our article into our main comp then our lines will animate on. So that's the thought process behind why I'm bumping up these keyframes. Next thing I'm gonna do is copy our trim paths and I'm going to paste them onto our black lines. And same as before, I'm just gonna move these down and I'm gonna move them down just a slight bit after. So now we have this followed by those lines. So this is looking pretty good. I'm gonna highlight everything, click U, add motion blur, and here's what we have. So this looks really good for our faux article. What we're gonna do is duplicate our faux article and call this Real article. And with our real article, I'm gonna double click in here. I'm gonna get rid of everything. And I'm going to bring in our actual article from the New York Times. Now I'm gonna click this button here and this is to rasterize this actual object here by default. When I go to full, you see that it gets a little bit blurry, but when I click this rasterize option, it makes it look a little bit more clear. So you always wanna click that, especially when you're bringing PDFs into your composition. And I'm gonna bring it down. So we can see our New York Times logo. It's okay that it's cut off at the bottom. We're not focused on that. I have this circle animation here. And what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna have a magnifying glass come up and I want it to highlight this soldier right here in the middle. So with our circle, I'm gonna just shrink it down to maybe like right here. Like that. I'm gonna give it a color. We'll make it like a darker red. And then we're gonna change the blend mode to multiply. So this is what we have here, it's really simple. And now we're going to jump into our actual magnifying glass composition. Now what I'm gonna need to start is bring in a texture to have a background. So I have this here, I'm gonna give it a tint and I'm going to mess with the levels just a little bit to have a little bit more contrast. Our background looks good, now it's time to actually start animating our articles. So we have my real article here, which I'll bring in. I'm going to scale this down. Next thing I'm going to do is add a page turn effect. And this is a really fun effect. It makes things look like it's turning like a sticker or a piece of paper. 
And I already love the way it looks by default, but what we're gonna do is mess around with our positioning just a little bit. I'm gonna scale down our article just a little bit more like that. Now what I'm gonna do is click on our page turn effect and I'm going to set a keyframe for our endpoint. So I'll click on full position, leave a keyframe there, bring it to about one second. And then we're gonna go up here, and bring that up just like that out of frame. So here's what we have. Looks cool. Now there's a little bit of this like weird jump right here. And I think that's because of the position of our fold position. So to fix that, I'm just gonna mess around with this fold position just a little bit and see how this looks. And you might be wondering, why does the back of our paper look a little bit lighter? Well, the default in this effect starts the opacity at 85%. So we could bring this up to 100 if we want. I like it at 100, but you can change it to whatever you want. If you want, you could even bring in something like, let's say this ancient texture that we used before. I'll bring this down a little bit. And with our article, what we could do is change the back page to this ancient paper texture and we could hide it. So now it looks like this. I'm gonna ease these keyframes out, F9, easy ease. And I'm going to drag in this last handle here. So it starts off really fast and then eases into the position just like that. Looks really nice and smooth. All right, next thing we need to do is bring in our faux articles. So I have my real article here. Now I'm gonna duplicate this, bring in our faux article by holding on Alt and dragging that to the top of our real article. And then it's going to replace that right away. So here's what we have. It's gonna animate in just like that. And then I'm going to duplicate it two more times. Now with our other two copies, we don't need the page turn effect. So I'm just gonna get rid of these page turn effects. And I'm gonna bring the one with the page turn effect up top and then I'm gonna hide our real article for now. And to stay organized, I'm gonna label this first one center, and then I'm gonna label this one left, and this one right. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is move the anchor points of our actual articles. So with our left article, what I'm gonna do is click Y and move our anchor point to the bottom left, and then with our right one, I'm gonna move our anchor point down to the bottom right because we are going to rotate these out, and I want them to rotate from the actual anchor point. If I left it in the center, then it would just be rotating from the center. So that's why we did that. I'm gonna hold down P and R for the position and rotation. Now I'm gonna animate the articles. So with our left one, I'm gonna bring this out to about a second here, and I'm gonna go over like two, then down two, over two, and then I'm going to rotate the position to negative 12. Same thing here with our right, I'm gonna go over two, down two, over two, and then I'm gonna rotate this position as well, so here's what we have. Now this timing isn't perfect because this is still scrolling out right before things start to show, so I'm gonna back these up just a little bit, and now I'm gonna easy ease these, and do the same thing we did earlier when it comes to our easing, so I'm gonna bring in these back handles. And to save a little bit of time here, I'm gonna show you guys a shortcut. There's this plugin I got, call it Ease Copy. So what Ease Copy does is it allows me to copy the information from the graph editor and paste it onto other keyframes, which is really nice. So I could just paste that there and paste it onto here too. You'd think After Effects has the capability, but it doesn't. Ease Copy is a paid plugin, but it is totally worth it. So real quickly, I was able to bring all these out. So right away, I like the way this looks, but I wanna just offset these articles just a little bit. So I'm gonna just bring in our right article just a smidge bit later, just like that. Now that we have the layout of our faux articles and how they're gonna animate in and separate, now it's time to actually bring in our real article in our magnifying glass. So we have our real article here. I'm gonna turn off the page turn since we already have it on our faux article, we don't need it. And then I'm gonna bring in our magnifying glass. So I'm gonna go here and pull in our magnifying glass. This is a PNG I pulled from Envato Elements. I'm gonna shrink this a little bit. And right now we have our anchor point at the center. So when I rotate this, it all rotates around the center point. I don't want that. I want it to rotate from this corner here. So I'm gonna click Y. I'm gonna bring this down to the corner of our object. So now it all rotates from there. So now I'm bringing our magnifying glass over our articles here. I'm just playing with the size, position, and rotation of all this. All right, so now we're gonna animate our magnifying glass. So I'm gonna click R for rotation, set a keyframe right here at two seconds. And then I'm gonna go up to three seconds where our endpoint's gonna be. I'm gonna go back to our first keyframe and I'm gonna bring this down just like that. So right away, it animates in. It's a little slow. We're gonna paste our ease copy properties in from earlier. That looks nice. But now what I actually wanna do is reveal our real article with the magnifying glass, which is part of that secret sauce. So in order to do that, I'm going to create a shape layer here. And we're gonna call this article matte. 
Now what we need to do with this article mat is actually parent it to our magnifying glass. That way it stays with it the entire time. But don't worry, we're not gonna be looking at it. So I'm gonna hide our mat right here. So we still have our magnifying glass. And now what I'm gonna do is actually mat our real article to our article mat. So when I mat it, it only reveals when it shows, which is really cool. So now we have it coming in, the faux articles, and then showing the real article. Now what I wanna do is actually make this look like it's magnifying, make it look realistic. And to do that is really simple. I'm going to create an adjustment layer here. And we're gonna call this magnify adjustment. An adjustment layer impacts everything below the actual adjustment layer itself. Now we only want things impacted within the circle of our magnifying glass. So similar to before, how we matted our New York Times real article to the mat, we're gonna mat our adjustment layer to the article itself. So just to show you guys, I'm gonna just create a fill here. It's gonna cover the whole screen. And then I'm going to mat it to the article itself. So now only the things within the mat are being impacted. So I just added that fill to show you what we're doing here. All right, now what I'm gonna do is add a bulge effect. And right away, you see there's a little bit of change going on. I'm gonna just bulge this out a little bit further. All right, it's looking good. Now what I'm gonna do is add a transform effect. And the transform effect is gonna allow us to scale things up. And with the bulge, we can even alter that just a little bit too. All right, so now this is starting to look realistic, but now what we need to do is actually jump into our composition of our real New York Times article here, and I wanna change the timing of our actual circle. So I'm gonna go into a real article here, and I'm gonna bring this into like right here. So now when I go to our magnifying glass, here's what we have. Boom. And then last thing we wanna do here is just highlight everything and add motion blur. And this is how you do a fun magnifying glass effect in After Effects. Let me know what you think in the comments about today's tutorial. Thanks for watching and stay creative.